Yo, what's good, y'all? I'm back with another video. Right now, we're on the topic of 2K18. Um, this is my my impressions from what I've seen and heard from 2K18 and all the new stuff that's coming out. Um, as you can see, I got some pictures and stuff of the players on the screen right now. You see, you've seen with Dylan Depot, Paul George, this is Isaiah Thomas. Right now, I want to just talk talk about quickly about uh, what I've heard and learned about 2K18. So first off, I watched Annoying Her, you know, I reacted to Annoying Her um, uh, video. I'm going to have that up for you later on today. But um, basically, he was saying, well, I'm going to have Annoying Her video. I might have that up. Matter of fact, I'm probably not going to upload that. I'm just going to upload this video. But basically, I watched Annoying Her's video, right? And he was talking about how the dribbling is different. It's still the same, like, 2K17, but it's polished. It's, it's a better um, version of 2K17. More in-depth. So it was like, um, let's see. Like, he said the dribbling is, like, slower, but still fast in a way, like, you had you only have four different combos to use before you're able before you lose full stamina. It's hard for you to get ripped, which is I, I didn't like that topic on um, that point he said because if you're, it's hard for you to, to get ripped, it, it could be a lot of cheese in there. Like if you're not getting ripped, you could do you could do with a ball forever. Like even though you don't have a lot of stamina, you can gain your stamina back and start dribbling again if it's hard for you to get ripped. So I feel like what it should be changed right there is that um you switch like Basically, if you lose your stamina, if you're doing all these dribble moves right, you spamming dribble moves, and you have no stamina, and the guy on you is a really good defender, and he's reaching in, he should get the steal, or at least pop, pop the ball, ball out your hands, or something like that. Like, you shouldn't need to put the ball still. You know what I mean? Uh, another point he said is that there's no more spamming. That's great. I love that, that point he said, because there's no more spamming. You know, in this game, you're able to spam so many moves at once, like, in, like, a second. Like, you, you just go unbelievably fast, like, blinding speed, like, fast as hell. Like you go, you go really fast when you're um when you're spamming dribble moves, which is not realistic at all. And so I know some people are gonna be mad at this and like, oh, uh, you just you can't guard it or you can't do what we do. And it's not that. It's just that I like basketball in real life too, not only in the game. And I like it to be realistic as real as it can, as real as it can be. So I like that part from what he said. Another part is he said that wasn't really that important. It wasn't really that necessary that players put their heads down now when they're driving in. Really not. I, I really didn't care for that part. I wanted to hear about defense, but he said in the next video he's gonna he might either have defense um up or um shooting. And I already know everybody's gonna pick shooting over dribbling. I mean over uh defense for the next video he asked. Everybody wants to know wants to know if shooting is still as good as it was at the beginning of 2K17. Because if you didn't know, if you haven't played 2K17 in the beginning of the game, shooting was so OP. It was so broken. You could shoot from half. All you have to do is step back and shoot from half court. And he said the algorithm of the game to where if you did a step back to half court, it was as if, as if you're shooting uh, on rookie. So then it's almost an automatic green release every time you sh you do a step back and shoot from like half court. So that was broken. They they ended up patching that. Um, but then after they patched a couple of times, sharp shoot, a shot creator started being the goat in um in the game. It was so easy for you to do them um, hop hop step cheese or side to side cheese. We would dribble to the side and shoot it off, a, and it's considered a moving shot for shot creators. That was another cheese part. But um, he's oh, he also said that when you do that now in this game, you just automatically gather the ball and pull up. Like in 2K15, you automatically gather gather the ball and you pull up on the um, you pull up you pull a jump shot. You don't hop step and then you're able to shoot or pass or whatnot you have to automatically pull up you either pump fake or you pass it out if not you go to the side or whatnot that cheese you know what i mean so that um he stated some good points on there um we're gonna have more updates and more news later on for you guys um i'm gonna see what else i can fish up and see and i'm gonna have another upload for you either later on today or tomorrow um i don't know yet but we're gonna see also um i'm gonna have some information about nba live too NBA Live, uh, this looking like it's gonna be a really great game. So I'm gonna have some information on there also. Um, I'm gonna see what can I get and what can I find for NBA Live. I've I've heard it, they bring in the WNBA for NBA Live and they bring in in like that pro am. So we're gonna see. But that's it for today, guys. Um, that's the end of my video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Please like and comment, guys. Please like and comment, subscribe. I'm out.